uh, just I mean doing a series of sermon on the topic called uh, uh, the spiritual Sabbath of a Christian believer the spiritual Sabbath of a Christian uh, believer that was based on um, book of Hebrews uh, chapters 3 and 4 book of Hebrews chapters 3 and 4 and we know that when God was giving uh, the Ten Commandments to uh, people of Israel um, the fourth commandment which was given uh, for the people of Israel was remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy and I was talking about uh, many things which was related to this topic even uh, from the Old Testament also uh, related to the uh, history of Israel and let me uh, just remind you the main points once again that I was, uh, I mean, uh, sharing with you in the uh, previous uh, uh, Sundays. Uh, that was from uh, Book of Hebrews, chapters uh, three uh, and four. And you know that, uh, uh, ch especially chapter chapter four. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Hebrews chapter four reminds us about. Uh, uh, different three uh, Sabbath rest of the Old Testament people. So the people of Israel, they were having um, uh, Yeah, so uh, the people of Israel, uh, they were having uh, different types of uh, uh, they were experiencing different types of Sabbaths in their lives and that was the topic that we have been uh, discussing about and we have been discussing about the rest of uh, um, or, or, a, or a real peace and rest of a uh, Christian believer so in uh, Hebrews chapter 4 uh, especially um, I mean Apostle Paul is reminding about three different Sabbath rest of a of a of a of a, uh, uh, of a member of the Old Testament. That means uh, in verse 4 we see that the personal Sabbath of Lord God in Genesis chapter 2 and that is um, after completing the creation work that he rested on the seventh day. God rested on the seventh day. So that is entirely different from the um, rest and Sabbath of the people of Israel. We know that. And the second uh, uh, Sabbath was the national Sabbath observation of the people of Israel which is mentioned uh, in in uh, Exodus chapter 20 verses 8 and 9 and that was uh, uh, Israel in uh, in uh, uh, related to the Ten Commandments amen and the third uh, rest or third Sabbath which was given uh, for the for the people of Israel was uh, in uh, uh, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 8 it is uh, there the Canaan rest of uh, people of Israel the Canaan rest of people of Israel and about that in Deuteronomy chapter 3 verse 20 also it is mentioned so and we know that there are some reasons that why Apostle Paul is mentioning the New Testament believers and reminding the New Testament believers about that Old Testament commandments okay so when God was giving the Old Testament commandments to the people of Israel um, you know God was intended to to the to the New Testament people also that when the New Testament people are reading the Old Testament they could understand what is the real meaning of a believer and what could be done in the lives of a believer and that was the I mean focus of God while uh, God was giving I mean these commandments to the um, uh, the Old Testament people and when we study about Apostle Paul uh, he is just reminding about you know what is the what is the meaning of the Old Testament commandments okay especially uh, the command the fourth commandment that uh, you have to uh, keep the Sabbath day as a holy day as a holy day then means the the worshiping day so the the reasons was that they were supposed to remember and worship the Creator God they were supposed to remember and worship the Creator God and they were supposed to keep the covenant between Israel and God so the people of Israel they had a covenant with God covenant with Almighty God Jehovah God so they were supposed to keep that covenant with God and also they were supposed to remember their deliverance from the Egypt they were supposed to remember the deliverance from the I mean Egypt 
So these are the main reasons that Apostle Paul is reminding uh, the New Testament believers that why I was giving I mean, these commandments, especially the fourth commandment about the Sabbath in the Old Testament. I mean, so we know that Israel, the people of Israel, they were seeking uh, for a rest and a peace in various occasions by various persons. Okay, so God was appointing many leaders and kings and all those uh, uh, people uh, among uh, the people of Israel and the people of Israel they were always seeking for a rest they were always seeking for a peace the complete peace in their lives but they could not find it I mean they were expecting from many other people like uh, uh, I'll be next one next year before that Okay, um, so you, you can see that, you know, uh, the people of Israel, they were, um, I mean, expecting the peace and the rest from uh, the leaders. Leaders like, you know, uh, Moses was there and Aaron was there, Joshua was there. But all those leaders, they could not give a complete rest and peace to the people of Israel. And also, they were expecting the peace and rest from the leaders like Ezra, Nehemiah, Zerubbabel and other judges those who were I mean uh, ruling over them you know we know that um, uh, the people of Israel were uh, in, in captivity for many years in different places different countries okay the Roman captivity and the uh, Assyrian captivity or Babylonian captivity Egyptian captivity so when they were in the captivity or in the exile period we know that they were expecting okay these people Ezra maybe Ezra maybe Nehemiah maybe Zerubbabel or the other judges may bring them the rest and the peace for their life but they could not get the real peace and real rest from all those leaders and also from the kings and the political leaders okay they were expecting the rest and peace okay we know that they disobeyed the commandment of God and they were rebelling against God and many times they were defeated in many places when when defeated they became they became restless and they were scattered and they were wandering in different places men different countries you know at the reason we know that you know I mean they were asking for a king okay they were asking hello uh, uh, God we need a king also because uh, the general people they have a king and we also need a king and we know that I mean God I mean appointed a king that was Saul Okay? But Saul was there, then uh, David came and Solomon came and Rehoboam came and uh, and the uh, kingdom of Israel was divided into northern kingdom and southern kingdom and during the time of Rehoboam and when all these kings were coming, all these uh, political leaders were coming and ruling over the people of Israel, they could not find the real rest and the peace in their life that was I mean, that, that was the I mean the thing that uh, we have been discussing and even they were expecting from the emperors and the empires that the kings of that empires like uh, Pharaoh or other uh, the people I mean those uh, uh, those who were I mean ruling them or, or the, the political leaders or the kings or some other I mean people like uh, I mean uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know uh, they were expecting from all those people that Roman emperors there were many uh, Roman and emperors also they were expecting from those people also that they could get the rest or peace but they could not find the peace and rest from all these people hallelujah even today they are expecting and waiting for a messiah this is the point you know even today the people of israel they are waiting for a messiah they are waiting for a messiah that jesus came into this world but they could not understand that that was the messiah but now, again, the people of Israel, they are waiting for a Messiah and they are believing that at present they don't have a temple. They don't have a temple. The people of Israel, they don't have a temple and they are, they are scattered into many places and they are thinking that, I mean, if Messiah is coming and we will, we will I mean, get a, a temple and we will be gathering together from different areas, different, uh, I mean, uh, uh, countries and we will be preparing uh, to build a temple and we will be worshipping in the temple. So we have to understand that they knew that in the kingdom of Messiah, they are going to get the complete rest. This is the point. 
you know in the kingdom of messiah or the i mean they are calling it as a kingdom of god so in the kingdom of god or in the kingdom of messiah they are expecting that we are going to get the real rest and the peace and that is the real expectation of a christian believer today I mean so we are coming to that point even you know we have to understand before getting into the canaan experience or canaan the the the, the promised land they had to go through many wilderness experiences right you know last uh, sunday we have been discussing about that and uh, when uh, uh, brother bobby uh, john was sharing about um, the message last sunday also he was i mean telling me that you know that touched me i mean too much because i mean the the word of god says that uh, the people of israel they had to uh, wander in the in the in the in the wilderness for 40 years because god wanted them to i mean learn many things god wanted them to learn many things and god was going to teach them many things while they were wandering in the wilderness i mean this is a necessary experience for a believer also even the people of israel i mean when they were going through that hard situation i mean when they were going through the test you know today uh, brother jovins was sharing about that i mean uh, psalm number 27 you know the people of god when they are going through the tests and trials in their lives the test of the faith when it is, that is that's the right time that we can prove that lord we are trusting in you only hallelujah so that we are humbling ourselves and trusting in the lord alone that could be i mean done in our lives hallelujah that's the reason that god was i mean sending uh, the people of israel i mean through many different situation like uh, the experience of uh, i mean there there were not having in no drinking water and experience of mara the bitter water and the experience of crossing the jordan river and uh, crossing the red sea and the experience of god's provision you know whenever they were not having the food god provided the manna for them the water for them and they had to experience the experience of protection of god Okay? the protection of god and the provision of god the food water pillar of clouds and pillar of fire everything they received from the lord hallelujah and this was the topic that uh, i was uh, uh, talking uh, last week and uh, you know you have to remember one thing we are also in the wilderness journey now the believers the christian believers and the uh, you know you can say that uh, the saints of god the children of god we are also in the wilderness of uh, i mean this world and at the same time spiritually in the promised land so I'll, I'll let me tell you one thing that you know even though we are struggling with many problems of this life right we have many struggles and we have many problems in this in, in this world and uh, we are just wandering in this world right you know we are wandering and we are i mean struggling and whenever we are struggling we are asking lord oh lord why i am i mean struggling these i mean kinds of problems in my life why i am going through this difficult situation why i am going through this wilderness hallelujah that wandering experiences i mean will bring you into a i mean into a particular perfect i mean i mean place that will give you the complete rest and the peace hallelujah even though you know we have to understand even though you are wandering in this wilderness we are in the wilderness yet we are in the promised land of canaan hallelujah how many of you believe that how many of you believe that you are in the promised land of canaan because you are experiencing the presence of god there even in the midst of the struggle even in the midst of the problem even in the midst of the tough situation you are experiencing the presence of god you are experiencing the hands of god the, the hands of god is holding you right amen hallelujah amen the hands of god is with you always and supporting you encouraging you hallelujah we how many sickness in our lives and we how many struggles in our lives but we believe that i mean uh, my god is enough more than enough to 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 help me hallelujah that's the reason but that we, we have been singing ni matram madi ni matram madi enike right i mean you are more than enough for me you are more than enough for me ni matram madi enike hallelujah ee kartavante sanithyam matram madi namakke devathil santoshikkanayittu palappolum nammude bharangalum prayasangalum okke eri eri varumbol nam devathil vishwasikkunavaranengil thirchiyayittu nammude thaangunna karangal undennu orikkalum nammal marannu pogarudhe hallelujah so remember you know when we are in the wilderness journey now same time 
spiritually in the promised land because in Matthew chapter 11 Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 30 you will read there that God's presence is with us and God is giving I mean the peace for the people of God yes in Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 through 30 I mean uh, somebody can read that verse now yeah <coughs> So as a believer we have the presence of God we have the rest in Christ right we have the peace in Christ that's the reason I mean Jesus is calling everyone come unto me all you that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest I will give you rest and this is a call for everyone those who are sitting here in the presence of God I mean, so Jesus is calling every one of us and saying that I mean, if you are struggling anything and if you are with a with a heavy laden and I mean heavy labor and I will give you the rest hallelujah so this morning I mean Jesus Christ is calling every person today those who are sitting here hallelujah and in the presence of God there is a rest hallelujah because we are experiencing the spiritual rest and spiritual peace in the presence of God that's the reason when Jesus said take my yoke upon you and learn of me for I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and burden is light when so God's yoke is very easy and his burden is light so when we are putting the the yoke of Jesus Christ on our shoulder that seems that when God is controlling us when God is leading us into a particular place that you can find the rest and peace there that is the presence of God that is the presence of God hallelujah so this morning amen so God is giving that call to every person that I mean God is calling for you for, for a rest in your life hallelujah even though you are struggling in your life so this is the very important thing that we have to understand even though we are wandering in the wilderness today even though we are going through the struggle the same time we are experiencing the spiritual rest the spiritual peace in the presence of God I mean, so I was just thinking you know the people those who are sitting here <clears throat> you may have many uh, many kinds of uh, I mean troubles in your lives okay so you may have some sickness and somebody was sharing that uh, last two weeks uh, they, that the family was going through the sickness Man, but uh, I mean, they they prayed and we prayed for them, and uh, God gave them the rest, and God gave them the peace and comfort them and the healing, and they came here and their testimony, they are sharing their testimony. Okay, the reason is, you know, when we go through the struggle, if you are a believer, if you are a child of God, if you are a person who is who has accepted Jesus as your personal savior, and if you have the presence of Jesus in your heart. I mean, you will surely find out the rest and peace in the presence of God. Hallelujah. But the worldly people, think about the worldly people. The worldly people, I mean, when they are struggling, when they are going through the trouble, trouble situation or the, or the difficult situation, they don't have any hope. They have nothing to hope about. And they are thinking, okay, my life is over. And my life is I mean, finished and I mean, I don't have a life I mean, I mean, further. But we the believers and the Christians and the, the children of God, we say that we have a peace and rest in Jesus Christ. Because we have the presence of Jesus Christ in our heart. <coughs> okay. So what is the spiritual rest? Okay. Think about the believer and what is the spiritual rest? The spiritual rest man, is the experience of heavenly places. Is that the spiritual rest of a person uh, the spiritual rest of a believer is the experience of heavenly places that's what we read in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 okay at present we are seated in the heavenly places with Christ the spiritual rest is known as the experiences of heavenly places that means we believe and the Bible says that in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 it says that you are already seated in the I mean highly places or you are already seated in the heavenly places right 
we are seated in the heavenly places today we know that we are inside the church and we are sitting on the chair here but spiritually thinking spiritually thinking we know that bible clearly says that you are here sitting in the heavenly places you are sitting in the heaven that means literally you are not sitting in the heaven but spiritually you are in the experiences of heaven hallelujah so we are in heaven now where there is presence of jesus where there is i mean love of god where there is joy of god when I mean, that place is the heaven of this world hallelujah the believers even though they are going through the struggles in their lives when they are i mean finding the peace in christ hallelujah they are finding the peace and rest in christ and even in ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 we read there that blessed be god the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessings in the heavenly places so what is say i mean what is really a spiritual experience a spiritual rest that is seated in the heavenly places and while we are seated in the heavenly places today hallelujah the lord has blessed us the lord has already blessed us with all the spiritual blessings hallelujah are you happy today are you happy today to hear that that you are blessed with all the spiritual blessing of heaven hallelujah all the spiritual blessing of heaven that's the reason that the people those who are sitting here they are smiling because they know they know that we have jesus christ in our heart hallelujah we are enjoying in the presence of god when we are singing songs hallelujah when we are i mean i mean worshiping when we are praying and when we are listening the word of god we are enjoying in the presence of god even though you have many struggles even though you are going through many tough situation you are enjoying in the presence of god because it says that blessed be the god the father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us already with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places hallelujah and secondly secondly what is the spiritual rest and this is the experience of kingdom of god this is the experience of kingdom of god hallelujah and in luke chapter 17 verses 20 and 21 i mean to, to, to the answer of pharisees uh, question uh, to jesus and jesus answered in uh, 17 verse 20 and 21 we read that verse maybe uh, luke 17 20 and 21 yeah Because the kingdom of God is within you or in your midst. Okay, we are coming to that point. You know, when the Pharisees were asking questions to Jesus, Jesus was giving the answer for those questions. And Jesus said, you know, the kingdom of God does not come with observation. That nor will they say, see here or see there. That means they were watching for the kingdom of God and they were seeking for the kingdom of god when the kingdom of god is going to be established and they were asking even the disciples also were asking question to jesus eh, many times and they were asking oh when when are you going to establish your kingdom jesus when are you going to establish your kingdom why they were asking for that i believe that they were asking for that question to jesus because they were thinking they were expecting that if jesus is establishing his kingdom because they were i mean uh, waiting for the messiah or as a, as a political leader coming as a as a king or as a as a leader political leader and establishing a kingdom and uh, these people will be the members of the kingdom and uh, they may get a chance to rule over the people and they may get a position right they may get a position that's the reason the disciples were asking jesus when are you going to establish the kingdom of god even the pharisees also they were also expecting something from the kingdom of god that's the reason they are asking questions and jesus said you are thinking that i'm going to say that this is the kingdom of god that is the kingdom of god and there is the kingdom of god but jesus said no 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 it is not like that i mean i'm not saying that see here see there and there is a kingdom of god but he said when I mean, the kingdom of god is within you or in your midst that means the pharisees were asking when the kingdom of god is coming jesus said it is already 
come and is it is there among you and the king is standing in front of you who was that king jesus jesus is the king and jesus is the king of the kingdom of god and he said jesus said it is already there okay when you see a believer when you see a christian when you see a child of god you will understand that the kingdom of god is in him or in her hallelujah nammal adu manasilaakanam okay oru vishwasiya kaanuma chindikanam oru kingdom of god nu parayunnathu oru devathinte rajyam aa vyaktiyude agathu kadappunde adu endana it's a spiritual experience hallelujah എത്ര വലിയ കഷ്ടങ്ങളിലൂടെ നമ്മൾ കടന്നു പോയാലും എത്ര പ്രയാസങ്ങളിലൂടെ കടന്നു പോയാലും നമ്മൾ കർത്താവിൽ സന്തോഷിക്കുന്നു ജോയ് ഇൻ ദ ലോ നമുക്കതുണ്ടെന്ന് നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ കേട്ടു ഹാലലൂയ അതെങ്ങനെയാണ് നമുക്ക് സാധിക്കുന്ന അറിയാമോ നമ്മൾ ഈ കർത്താവിൽ വസിക്കുന്നത് കൊണ്ട് ഈ ദൈവത്തിന്റെ രാജ്യം നമ്മുടെ അകത്ത് അങ്ങ് വസിക്കുകയാണ് ഹാലലൂയ സോ യുനോ ദ പീപ്പിൾ ദോസ് വർ ഗ്യാദറിങ് ടുഗദർ ഫോർ ദ വർഷിപ്പ് സർവീസ് ടുഡേ യു ഹാവ് ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് എമങ് എസ് ഐ മീൻ സോ ഡോൺ വെയിറ്റ് ഫോർ ദ കിങ്ഡം ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് ടു കം men surely we are going for we are we are waiting for the literal kingdom of god in future after the second coming of jesus christ but today today you are experiencing the spiritual rest and the spiritual peace and spiritual comfort and spiritual support and encouragement from the presence of god that is the kingdom of god hallelujah and that's the reason that jesus said it's already come this is among you Amen the kingdom of god is among you hallelujah even in 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 romans chapter 14 verse 17 okay let's read that verse also once again romans uh, 14 17 <clears throat> okay so the kingdom of god is, is at present is an internal experience of a believer what is kingdom of god okay we are thinking about the spiritual rest of spiritual uh, 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 rest of a believer now we come to the point that the kingdom of god is the real i mean uh, uh, i mean place that you are getting the rest in the presence of god okay and what is the kingdom of god I mean in roman chapter 14 verse 17 jesus said kingdom of god is actually an internal experience of a believer okay outwardly when the people are seeing you they are thinking okay this person is having many problems in his life when outwardly they are saying they are commenting about you that okay this person is having this problem and that problem that sickness and this sickness and everything at the same time i mean so we are in the kingdom of god now and at present it's an internal experience of a believer it says that for the kingdom of god is not a matter of eating and drinking when the kingdom of god is not a matter of eating and drinking but this is the righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit hallelujah praise god hallelujah what a what a connection that we are having today with uh, that uh, i mean sam's 100 and uh, sam's 27 right you know he was uh, uh, talking about um, uh, we have the peace and joy in christ and we are coming to that point the same point that we are experiencing today it's an internal i mean spiritual experience of a believer hallelujah what is that jesus said the kingdom of god is not a matter of eating and drinking that means we are gathering together not only for eating and drinking that is not important that is not important you know today many of the other people the worldly people okay uh, they are gathering together and they are i mean uh, uh, i mean uh, making some function or some programs only for eating and drinking and enjoying but we are gathering together and we are experiencing the real real peace and rest in righteousness what is that when i mean righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost hallelujah what a what a great privilege that god has given in our lives hallelujah even though sometimes we are struggling even though sometimes we don't have anything to eat or drink that doesn't matter when I mean, we are coming to the presence of god we are enjoying in the presence of god in righteousness in peace and joy in the holy spirit hallelujah i mean this morning let me ask you I mean if you are a believer if you are a child of god hallelujah i mean after sitting here after sitting here how many of you are having that joy in the holy spirit hallelujah when worshiping when the when the i mean uh, 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 worship team is i mean leading us into worship how many of you were enjoying in the holy spirit 
Hallelujah. It's not only singing songs. It's not only, I mean, uh, I mean, singing loudly that song. But we are enjoying in the Holy Spirit when we are singing. Hallelujah. Let us enjoy, I mean, the presence of God in the Holy Spirit when we are singing, when we are worshipping, when we are praying, when we are listening the word of God. Hallelujah. That is the real experience, internal experience of a, of a believer. That is the real experience of a, I mean, believer. That's the reason it says that when it, it, it's an inner experience of righteousness, speed, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit, even in the midst of the struggles and battles. Hallelujah. And we have to understand one more thing, that it's true that God reigns of the earth. Okay, that means we, we talk about the sovereignty of God, the sovereignty of God. I mean, we say that God is ruling over the world, right? God now God is having the all. Uh, God is the Almighty God, and He has the sovereignty. Uh, what is that? Paramathi gara mundu makkala mula pararan dalay. Abam deivam angane a paramathi gara thodu gude logatte mujven phari kinnu na parayindo. So we say that God is controlling everything, and God is ruling over all the world and everything. But at the same time, God is ruling over the people, those who are the members of the kingdom of God. It is true that God is ruling all over the world. At the same time, a special consideration is there towards the believers of God. A special consideration is there towards the saints of God, towards the children of God, towards the people, those who have accepted Jesus as their personal savior. Hallelujah. You know, he reigns over the ones who is the member of the kingdom of God. And these can experience the real rest and peace even in the wilderness journey. That's what I, I mean, the point today, I mean, from my message. Hallelujah. You know, we have to understand one thing, even though we are going through the struggles in our lives. Hallelujah. We have the joy in Christ, right? We have the joy in Christ and we are enjoying and we are, I mean, worshipping God in, in, in truth and spirit and we know that, I mean, the presence of God is with us. Hallelujah. Let's all, I mean, close our eyes in the presence of God. Let's just remember, I mean, some other things that uh, this morning we have been discussing. Hallelujah. You know, I mean, God's presence is with us, Alvin. So, the, the, the next slide that, uh, I mean, you have to remember. You have to remember many things. That is what uh, we have to understand. Hallelujah. You know, many of the times, uh, I mean, we are not knowing the presence of God in our lives. Hallelujah. So this morning, I mean, just I mean, uh, give yourself in the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. We have to understand who you are and who am I. Hallelujah. And we are just thinking about, I mean, if I am a believer of Jesus Christ and I, if I am a child of Jesus Christ and I've, I mean, accept, I, I accepted Jesus as my personal savior, I have the peace and I have the rest in my heart. Hallelujah. I mean, the overwhelming, the overwhelming rest and overwhelming joy from my heart. It's coming out and it's spread out to the, to the other people also. Hallelujah. Thank you, Master. Hallelujah. But the thing is, I mean, if you want to, I mean, receive this joy. If you want to receive the joy in the Holy Spirit, if you want to receive the joy in, in, in the Spirit, Hallelujah, Amen, Hallelujah, the internal joy, the internal rest and internal, I mean, peace. I mean, God says that, hallelujah, accept Jesus as your personal savior. Hallelujah. That is the only way. Salvation is the only way that you also will experience the presence of God in your life. Hallelujah. This morning, let me tell you one more time. The same word. The same word. That if you want to experience the real spiritual peace and rest in your life. Or Hallelujah. So when you receive Jesus as your personal Savior and the Lord, Hallelujah, the Bible says that He will be the Lord of your life. He will be the savior of your life. Hallelujah. And Jesus will guide you. And Jesus will give you rest. And Jesus will I mean, take you into the real heavenly places. Hallelujah. We know that now the believers are seated in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Remember, we are in our I mean, wilderness journey today. In our wilderness journey, we will have to face many challenges in our lives. We will have to go through different situations in our lives. Hallelujah. The situations of, I mean, many, I mean, dangerous situations that God need to teach you something. That when you are going through this, I mean, situation, 
Hallelujah. You will understand that you have a pillar of God above you. You have a pillar of God. You have a pillar of fire. Hallelujah. You have a pillar of cloud above you that will protect you. Hallelujah. And that will guide you. And that will provide you everything that you want in this world. Hallelujah. We are in our I mean, I mean, study, but we are provided all that we need. Hallelujah. Even in the midst of the wilderness journey, the people of Israel received all the blessings from the Lord. Hallelujah. So we are provided. We are provided all the needs of our hearts. Hallelujah. And we are experiencing the rest of the promised land today. Even though we are in the wilderness journey, we are experiencing the rest, the real rest that is the promised land that we are in the promised land now hallelujah and we are spiritually seated in the heavenly places hallelujah we are blessed with all heavenly blessings hallelujah that that is that is very important to understand we are seated in the heavenly places and we are already blessed with the heavenly blessings and we found the rest and peace in jesus christ Hallelujah. We found the rest and peace in Jesus Christ. And spiritual rest is an experience of heavenly places. Spiritual rest is an experience of heavenly places. And spiritual rest is an experience of the kingdom of God. And one day we will enter a perfect future rest and peace in the future. Hallelujah. That is our future expectation that we are going to enter into the future perfect I mean, place where you will experience the perfect rest and perfect peace. Hallelujah. That is the literal heaven. Hallelujah. Let's all close our eyes in the presence of God. Let's pray together. Father God, hallelujah. Lord, let's say, say Lord, Lord, we are coming to you also in the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So anyone, anyone this morning, I mean, is sitting here and you are thinking about, I mean, how can I get this peace and how can I get this heaven? How can I be, how can I, I mean, uh, I mean, be seated in the heavenly places? I mean, it is not impossible. Dear brother, dear sister, it is not impossible. I mean, if you believe in Jesus Christ, if you accept Jesus as your personal Savior and the Lord, hallelujah, you will experience that real peace in your life. You will experience that real peace and real rest and real comfort in your personal life. Hallelujah. So that, let's all commit us with the mighty hand of God to the believers. Let me say one thing that you are seated in the heavenly places now hallelujah and you will i mean know that god's presence is with you always even though you are going through the struggles and troubles and situation hallelujah yes we are in the wilderness but we are experiencing the the experience of the promised land that is the canaan hallelujah we have an internal i mean experience of the personal rest and peace hallelujah so i would like to pray for all of you so that god will bless all of you and before that i mean i would request uh, uh, brother jason to uh, lead us in prayer now uh, for